Hi everyone, my name is Chris Brzezicki, an instructor here at the University of Wisconsin Green Bay. I just wanted to let you know that uh, I'm putting together a live stream project called Together We Write. Uh, every Tuesday during the spring semester of 2023 from about 1130 to 1230 thereabouts, I'm going to be uh, demonstrating some writing, talking about writing, uh, but also hoping to review, uh, open it up for actually reviewing writing. So I uh, just wanted to go through the steps. Uh, A, let you know that this channel is out there. Uh, hopefully it's, it's of some benefit to those outside of my own courses. But I also wanted to open up um, the uh, opportunity to have uh, writing reviewed online. Now, uh, should be, before I, I want to go through a demonstration of how this process works because uh, privacy and um, disclosure is, is fairly important to me. I want everyone to know what exactly is happening behind the scenes here um, as we're rolling this out. There may be issues that come up along the way, uh, and those will be addressed as they come up, but uh, I, I'm hoping this is a fairly straightforward process and that uh, in as much as possible, all privacy is preserved. So I want to take a few minutes to just discuss this and show everyone uh, the steps here. All right, so here's that uh, channel. Uh, feel free to take a look. They're, all videos will be recorded and are offered under a Creative Commons license, so uh, you can use them however you want as long as you provide attribution. All right. Um, form disappeared on me. There we go. All right, so if you want writing to be reviewed, here's this form I've put together, and it has all sorts of details, the times, the links. Um, I think I talk about the importance of privacy and anonymity several times throughout this form. Uh, first off, if you're going, if you are going to submit something to be reviewed, please make sure a couple of things. Uh, first, it's easiest. Uh, make sure it's a Word or PowerPoint document uh, only, preferably Word if you can. Uh, I believe PowerPoint uh, documents uh, presentations tend to be pretty large, uh, so if you can keep it to a Word file, uh, that would be great. Uh, we'll look at other files in the future. Certainly PDFs uh, may work as well, but for the time being, I just wanted to use Word file, Word documents. All right, um, let's see. Make sure, the second, and this is the most important thing, make sure any information that is um, personally, that could be used to personally identify the writer, make sure that's uh, removed uh, before you submit it. What I will do is open that file up and review it to make sure that information is removed. Um, but just in case I uh, overlook something, please make uh, every measure to, to, to make sure that information is uh, removed. All right. Uh, if you submit something and I find information that's in there, I'm just not going to review it. I just don't want anyone's name or address or, um, you know, most of my assignments None of that sh information should be on there anyway, but just in case, I know we, a lot of us do cover letters as assignments and sometimes addresses are, are put on there. Again, please just make sure that's uh, not uh, included on that file. All right, so what will happen is if I go through this form, you know, what kind of writing assignment is this? Again, I this is uh, primarily based on my own Writing Foundations 200 course, uh, Professional Writing for Business Majors. However, uh, I would I hope that I can offer some helpful insights to all of our writing foundations courses, even if it's not my even if I don't necessarily have experience teaching that course. All right, so what sort of writing assignment is this? Let's just say I've got a, a press release that I, I want to have looked at. Uh, what specific areas would you like reviewed? And I'm going to say structure. Um, I'm going to keep it simple. Um, depending on how much time I have, I, I assume that in the beginning as we roll this out, I'm going to have lots of time to discuss something, but as we, if we get a two or three submissions, that may take a little bit more time, so try to keep it to one or two things, uh, if at all possible. So say I want to, uh, I really want to focus on the structure. Is the uh, formatting correct? The press release has some weird things in there. 
and then I'm gonna upload my file. Now you can see here, now I wanna make sure I spend a little bit of time, yes, at the risk of belaboring the whole privacy thing, uh, just keep in mind. Uh, your file will be uploaded to my OneDrive, okay? There's, I don't know any way around that at this time. Uh, it will, if I review it, it will be deleted immediately afterwards, okay? Um, I'm only accepting Word and PowerPoint files at this time. Want to see different files? Email me. It says non-anonymous question. Okay, this is telling you, and it'll give you this little pop-up saying your file and your name and file upload actions will be recorded in OneDrive and visible to the form owner. So just be aware that it's going to be available to me and only me. All right, so, and I will remove that file once it's reviewed. Um... That said, if you do have a question for me personally, feel free to email me. If you have a question, if I do review your work and you want to uh, have a question, uh, feel free to ask, all right? So this is where you're going to upload the file. I click that, and let's. I'm just going to um, put this. I know there's uh, information, no personal information in here except my own, and then I'm going to submit it, all right? and I can get a, a print or a PDF and it'll open that up. And so over in my email, up in this other window here, I'm gonna get a, show you what I get. I get this email uh, from Microsoft Forms, Together We Write, Submission for Review. Hi, Chris Prozicki, you received one new response from anonymous submitter. So, okay, so I'm gonna view the results. It's gonna take me back to this form. Now, what I'll do, just show you um, in Excel, what it'll give me is this, oops, where'd it go? Too many Excel documents, apparently. Maybe that way. All right, so here is the file I get, uh, ID2, because it's the second submission. Uh, see, email is anonymous, all right? And then it does give me this SharePoint information, okay? Should open this. What are you doing? Anyway, so what will happen is if I open up my OneDrive... here it should open up so I'm gonna get this file and and now I didn't have any personal information on here but it does say anonymous okay it does go into uh, this question folder which is interesting and so you can see the two things in here now it shows it's been modified by me I don't at this time I, I haven't seen any submissions yet uh, from others than my anyone other than myself. So I may have to tweak this once if any if and when submissions actually come in uh, but be aware that uh, it should be relatively anonymous. Uh, any information will be limited only to me. Um, I think that about covers it. Uh, but I just, again, just wanted to, to demonstrate this and show everyone what's happening behind the scenes. So if there are any questions, uh, if you do have any questions about it, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, again, as I encounter any sort of issues or concerns, I'll be sure to address them right away. But uh, especially in the realm of uh, privacy and anonymous usage, um, that's going to be my concern at this time. So... Uh, any questions, uh, feel free to shoot me an email, P-U-R-Z-Y-C-K-K -K at U-W-G-B dot E-D-U. All right, uh, thanks, and uh, again, I hope uh, we get some good use out of this, and I look forward to any submissions, otherwise just talking for about an hour about writing. So anyway, take care.